What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol IRNT for IronNet Inc. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday time frame. This video is for anyone who is not able to participate in yesterday's rally, okay? So I wanted to point out, come on today, and talk to you guys about what I'm seeing here. So the first thing that jumps out at me is this as potentially an inverted head and shoulders. Now, it's not the most pretty thing in the world, it's not like we have a jagged pivot high it low, something like this. However, the psychology is kind of the same, right? If we look at this as the neckline, let's go ahead and throw that level on the chart. That is the number to be watching for tomorrow at $12.57. If it breaks, then I would argue the move is to here, at least today's high of day. It's going to be around uh, 1425, is it? So 1420, excuse me. And then after that, the pullback from the uh, end of day candle on uh, Wednesday, it was for uh, 1456. Okay, so those are upside targets on the break of 1257. Now, let me talk you through the kind of psychology of this right here. Okay, so inverted head and shoulders. Why is this important? Well, we made a low, lower low, and then a higher low, but we have yet to make a higher high. So if we were to take this out at 1257, anyone who shorted this on the secondary push, thinking that, hey, maybe we go lower here, break down underneath uh, our critical levels that we have mapped out, namely uh, the green line here, the 200 SMA. Let me zoom in so we we can actually see that a bit. So there we go. You can kind of get the sense for these prior highs, the 200 SMA. If this were to break down, they're thinking, okay, maybe short here, look for lower. If they're still holding the stock, where's their stop loss? Well, likely going to be up over this 1257. Uh, so if we take it out, then we're looking for that kind of momentum play, that momentum squeeze-ish move to get us into 1450. Now, am I saying that this thing goes to quote unquote the moon? Absolutely not. But there is a trade uh, idea available here, all based around this 1257. So again, that's why I wanted to to talk to you about this today. You'll also notice that it was the lows from in here. So anyone who shorted that breakdown, again, where's their stop at this point in time? Probably somewhere here, right above their entry point. So all of these things add up for a potential. Again, that's I want to emphasize that word here. This is a potential idea on the break up and over 1257 to get us higher based on some stop losses triggering and maybe some more buyers getting involved based on potentially missing this move from in here. So hopefully this was insightful. That's kind of what I'm thinking about here inside of IronNet. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.